So day three's tip was to embrace the wonk. I did, but I think I've been doing that since the beginning. <laughs> This is Carrie with Canary Quilts, and this is day three of week two of the 30 days of improv quilt along. And this week we're working with polygons, and you can see this is day one. Started with the shape in the middle, worked around it. Uh, I started with, I think, a six sided shape here, and they suggested using smaller pieces, and so I did. Didn't end up with a six sided shape, I don't think, anywhere in here, but it's still a cool block. And I did work with smaller pieces. And then today was just kind of to embrace the wonk. And you really can kind of do that with polygons because of the angles that are in the shapes themselves. Now, I feel like I've kind of been embracing, embracing the wonk since the beginning of this, but I did it here anyway. Um, I started, I think, with a trapezoid or four sided shape and then just started building out from there working with angles and not trying to get too small pieces in here so it turned out pretty cool oh and I used the blues where I have blues and greens in my fabrics choices I used just mostly the blues in this one so it turned out pretty cool I like that triangle which is a polygon um, but that triangle looks really cool in the middle and then these ended up being a triangle here so it's kind of cool that you end up with shapes that you don't intend to in the process. So there you go. If you want to follow along on our uh, 30 days of improv quilt along, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. I'm doing this the whole month of August, uh, Monday through Friday during August of 2022. And last week we worked with squares and rectangles, and this week we're working with polygons. So. I think we're working with triangles and curves in the coming weeks. But I got over my nerves by the end of last week, and I they came back the beginning of this week. But I've kind of settled down. So it's fun. It really is fun. There is no wrong way to do this. So let's get started. Okay, day three of week two of the 30 days of improv quilt along. Um, this would be day eight of the whole thing. And we're working with polygons this week. And today they say to embrace the wonk. So make your polygon gone, but don't make it so even um, around the edges. So to uh, kind of give your angles a little more sharpness or, or whatever. I feel like that's what I've been doing, but I'll give it a shot today. And uh, I'm gonna work with the blues in my um, fabric selection today. See how that goes. So, if you're joining along, if you want to join along with the quilt along, hit the uh, subscribe button, notification bell, and you'll get notified as I put these up, and uh, you can watch my process. So, let's get started.
let's see. I think I made a mistake. I have a little notch here. And I guess the way to fix that would be to add a piece to it. So I guess that's the nice thing about an improv block. Is <laughs> it just even something like that isn't wrong. Oh, there we go. Meh. Yeah. I wasn't too happy with my progress on that one. I feel like I just kind of do the wonk anyway. That even if, uh, even when trying to do it, I just did it. So, still a cool looking block. So here's day two, there's day one, and there's day three. So if you're new here and you want to continue to follow me on this 30 days of QAL, improv QAL, quilt along, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get to see uh, when I put up day four, which is, what is day four? Day four is once you have a block stitch up or parts of a block piece, try slicing it up and reassembling it. Oh, okay, that'll be interesting. Probably be working with bigger pieces then. So there you go. There's day three of week two, or day nine. Day eight, sorry. Of the 30 days of QAL. So I enjoyed making the video. I enjoyed making the block. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.